Hey everyone! Java Kid here for another JavaScript for Kids video. Java video. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was just reliving my first episode. Hello internet people, this is Java Kid here for another JavaScript for Kids video. And today we will be learning about a few common data types. And on the way we will be learning about the type of tag, so why don't you just stay tuned. So let's jump right into this. The data types we will be learning today will be string, number, boolean, and undefined. So let's start them off one by one. We're going to use variables here. So let's say var string. We're going to set this equal to a string and we're going to say hello world. So let me take you through this process. We created a variable. Don't uh, don't really um, stress too much about this. We really want to focus what's inside the variable because we want to focus on the data type of the variable. So this is hello world. It is a string, as you can see, uh, because it is between these quotation marks. And the definition of a screen, uh, a string is uh, it's used to represent a uh, text or textual uh, data. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, string was pretty easy. Let's move on to the next one called number. So let's set it equal to 10. Um, this is what a number data type looks like. Um, it has no quotation marks because it's not a string. And uh, the number data type is exactly what it sounds like. It is a number or it's used to represent a number in JavaScript. So pretty easy stuff. Let's move on to the next one variable uh, boolean so this one is just a just a tad bit harder um, uh, let's okay see um, boolean so this is used to represent uh, logical values in JavaScript or uh, the values of true and false so to kind of get this to work we have to say let's say 10 is less than 1 so as you obviously know, 10 is not less than 1. So if we did alert this or confirm this, let's say confirm because alert wasn't really working today for me. Um, Boolean. We display this. Or no, we run this, sorry. And it will pop up false because, of course, 10 is not uh, less than 1, as you know. I hope you know. I don't know why I put true, but don't, 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 don't think about that. Um. Anyways, uh, we're going to move on to our final um, data type, which is called undefined. So var undefined. So we can't really set uh, a variable uh, of uh, undefined to anything because undefined is a, a keyword as itself. So let me use another example. So this is how undefined works. So uh, let's try to uh, give you a good example. I mean, not let's. Mm. Keep on saying let's, guys. Probably found out already. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I'm not part of the Illuminati, if you're wondering, but uh, Illuminati confirmed. I'm not, like, holding up a triangle right now or anything. But... Let's try to give you an example of uh, undefined. So let's do this right here. Uh, let's say um, confirm r. And then we're like, after we run it, we're like, uh, oops, I forgot that I didn't set r to a value. Like, girl, what were you thinking about? If you didn't set r to a value, you gotta set the variable to a value. Uh, sorry, I got a bit carried away there, but uh, we're just gonna run this. And of course, it gets a reference error. It says reference error R is not defined. So this is an example of the undefined data type. So we're going to be going through all these data types right now using a tag called type of. So this tag is exactly uh, written as, as it sounds. And whatever you put inside of these parentheses it will uh, find the type or the data type of it. So let's put our variable called string inside of it. And hopefully JavaScript is smart enough to do this. Oh, sorry, display. And it pops up string, string because it is a string. So let's try the next data type we have here, which is called number. 
And it pops up number. Nice. Uh, let's try Boolean. Nice. Pops up Boolean. And let's try our undefined. Uh, so let's display this right here. Oops, not execute. Why would I want to execute anybody? <laughs> undefined. And it pops this up as undefined because undefined uh, represents uh, something that has not been assigned a value. So that is a definition of undefined. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, please leave that big fat thumbs up. And if you are really awesome, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if you do have any questions or comments, please do feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And as always, remember to keep coding, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!